Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav in this 2013 Range Rover Evoque. So, from any screen, you've got nav there. The first time you use it, you just have to click agree to uh, say you're not going to be distracted while you're driving. Um, you've got destination entry up there. On road, you click nav again, you've got on road navigation and off road navigation, but up to destination entry. Postcode's easiest. Um, it's a real good simple system. We are Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Wantleydale, Preston, PR. It defaults to numbers, which not all of them do. 5, 4, J, S. So that's PR5, 4, J, S. It's come up here. Now you have to click OK to select it. And then you have to click Go. So you have to tell it a few times. OK, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile in this uh, 2013 Range Rover Evoque. So from any screen, if you've got no phones connected already, you just click Phone. And you'll see there, it, that'll come up with a list of whatever phones are uh, paired to the, to the audio system. So you've got Barry's iPhone there, that's the one I want to delete. Click Delete. Delete Barry's iPhone 11, yes. That's it, gone. OK, I'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this 2013 Range Rover Evoque. So from any screen, that's, that's the home screen. If, for instance, you were on nav, you could either press phone or home and menu. Phone's the, the quickest one, but there's nothing paired at the moment, so it's saying please pair phone. If you, if you click phone, search for new. So we make sure that Bluetooth is switched on. We're looking out at the bottom here, click search for new. Vehicle to device, that generates a pin number for you. So you only have to put it in one, whereas if you do it from device to vehicle, you have to put a pin number in this one. And then you, you have to generate your own pin number in this and then click the pin number in that. So it's easy doing it uh, vehicle to device. Barry's iPhone 11, click. To pair and connect phone, enter 4925. Four, nine, two, five, pair. Allow contacts and favourites to sync. Yep. Connecting to Barry's iPhone. Range Rover Evoke there. Connected. Phone connected. So that's it. Real simple, easy uh, system to use in the Range Rover. I'll just show you how to stream music through the Bluetooth audio system in this 2013 Range Rover Evoque. So if we go to music and, and we're in September 2020 now, they've just changed it from iTunes to music. So we go to a record and you'll see at the bottom there, quite hard to see now, it used to be in red, but now for some reason it's in silver. So if I click on that, it's, a, it's like a, it's a triangle with three red circles at, at the top, Range Rover Evoque, and there's a tick next to it. That means that any audio, whether it be Spotify, YouTube, whatever, iTunes, any audio that's playing on your mobile will come through the speakers in, in the Range Rover. So I've got it turned down here. I'm going to uh, moderate the, um, the volume with the phone and not the system here. Now we go to audio. That's already on Bluetooth. But if it's not, and it's quite possible it's not, you see there, My Music, there's a plus next to it. If we go to that, we'll just put Auxiliary. So that, that's on Auxiliary. So I'll, I'll just take you back again. Um, we, we, we want to play music here. We click Play. We go over here to Audio Video, to My Music. And again, if it's not, if it, if it's not on, if it's on video, we'll just do that again. So I just want to show you. See my music there, there's no plus. So what you have to do, you have to select my music, then it brings the plus up, that gives you further selections. Click the plus, and then Barry's iPhone. Now, if I turn this up, I'll turn that up, sorry. And then we'll turn it up here. That's it. That's how you stream audio. Thanks for watching.